All right, so what we want to look at here is the distance formula. Now, the distance formula is used for finding the distance between two points. Okay? Um, and really, it's just, just imagine this. If I'm graphing and I have <coughs> this point and I have this point right here, uh, we can call this guy <coughs> x1, y1, we'll call this guy x2, y2. We use different subscripts for those coordinates. The distance is going to be the straight distance from one point to the next. And the way that we find that distance is by using a little guy that we know as the Pythagorean theorem. If you create a right triangle here, you'll see that the distance ends up being what part of the right triangle? It ends up being the hypotenuse. So if I look at this as A, B, and C is my hypotenuse, my Pythagorean theorem says a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And c, of course, being the distance that I'm looking for. Notice that if you look at a, a is the change in your y direction, right? Mm -hmm. So this is really <coughs> the change in your y. What is b? <coughs> B is the change in the x direction, and that is equal to your c squared. Now, if we rearrange things a little bit, I don't want c squared. I want just what? C. I just want c, just my distance. So c is how do you how do you get just c? How do you go from c squared to just c? Divide. No. Use the square root property, right? Now, if you use the square root property, that would be a plus or minus, right? Mm -hmm. But are we talking about distance? So we want it to be just what? Just the positive part. So it's the square root of what's inside the square root? These guys are here, right? Now, Ivana, you're, you're right. I'm just going to, I do have the change in y squared. I'm, I'm going to flip that around and put x first. I, I like x <coughs> going first. So if I write it like this, square, uh, delta x squared plus delta y squared. Remember, what is that triangle? That's delta. Delta means what? Change. change. So the change in your x and the change in your y. So you have to know how far apart these numbers are if you look down a number line. Now, if you happen to look at a book, they're going to give the distance formula in a slightly different way. They'll say this. <coughs> P and R are two points. <coughs> P and R are two points. Then the distance, which they use this notation. Okay. Now, you, if you see me doing a lot of things, I'm not going to write that. I'm just going to write D for distance. That's the way I used to always do it. Um, but the way they have the formula is similar to mine, but it's a little more complicated looking, and I don't like it. I want you to see it so you can match it up with the book. If you're doing things in my math lab, you know where it's coming from. How do you find the change? Remember how we did change when we talked about slope, the change in y over the change in x? What did change <coughs> mean? What mathematical operation was that? Subtraction. So to find the change in your x's, that's x2 minus x1. The change in your y is y2 minus y1. So this is the formula that you will see in the textbook. If you want to use this formula, that, that's fine. But you know what I'm going to use? I'm going to use this guy, because here's the thing. It doesn't matter if you go x2 minus x1 or x1 minus x2. The sign doesn't matter, because what are you going to do anyway? You're going to square it. What does matter is that you actually find the difference between them. For example, what's the difference between 7 and 5? Two. 2. They're two units apart, right? What's the difference between negative 1 and 5? Six. 6. On the number line, the distance between negative 1 and 6, excuse me, negative 1 and 5 is 6. Do you all agree? So you've got to pay 
close attention to that part of it. There's a distance form and there's another formula that I want you guys to see which is actually, it's actually even easier than this. It's called the midpoint. Uh, hold on. Divide what by two? Now, the midpoint is a loca the midpoint is a location. The distance is a length. The slope. No, it's not quite the slope, but here's what you do. Understand that the midpoint, <coughs> like if I look at this diagram up here, this picture, this right here should be the midpoint, right? It's an ordered pair, so in order for us to find that, it's halfway between those guys, right? And here's the easiest thing to do. You take the average of the x-coordinates and the average of the y-coordinates. That's it. Halfway between those guys is the midpoint. We, okay, let me ask you this. What's the, what was the difference between negative 1 and 5? We already did that. What's the difference? There's a difference of 6, right? What's halfway between negative 1 and 5? It's not 3. It's 2, isn't it? Half of the, halfway is 3, right? Now if you go 3 units from 5 or 3 units from negative 1, where do you end up? 2. What's negative 1 plus 5 divided by 2? You get 2. So these are the formulas, and let's see what happens when I give you some points. So if I say I've got a point that's 4, negative 7, and Q is negative 2, 1. <coughs> I do not, I do not want you guys to grab these guys because if you want to do that, I want to make sure you have points that you can't plot. I want to find my distance. My distance is going to be the change in x squared plus the change in y squared inside the square root. All right, so let's see what happens here. What is the change in x? My x values are 4 and negative 2. What's the difference between those guys? The difference between those guys is 6, right? What's the difference between negative 7 and 1? They are 8 units apart, do you all agree? Mm -hmm. And if you're not sure about that, you come off here to the side and you think about this. All right. What's the difference between this? If I do 4 minus negative 2, that's 4 plus 2, which equals 6. Here, if I go negative 7 minus 1, Negative 7 minus 1 equals negative 8. Now, why did I put a positive 8 here? Shouldn't that be negative? It's going to be squared, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter since it's going to be squared. So let's finish this guy. So I get the square root of what's in here? Well, you should see a 3, 4, 5 triangle automatically. It's something that's based off of a 3, 4, 5 triangle, those being Pythagorean triples. Square root of 36 plus 64 is the square root of 100, so the distance is what? <coughs> the distance is 10, and you know what, let's go ahead and say it's 10 units. Sometimes they will say centimeters or inches when they're talking about these ordered pairs. But what we know right here is that between those two points, they're 10 units apart. But now I want you guys to find the midpoint. The midpoint should be pretty easy. You add these guys together. So here's the formula. x1 plus x2 over 2 and y1 plus y2 over 2. So these are your coordinates. My x's are 4 and negative 2. My y coordinates are negative 7 and 1.
So finish this. What happens if I do 4 plus negative 2 divided by 2? This gives me 2 divided by 2, which equals 1. And what about this guy? <coughs> this gives me negative 6 over 2, which is negative 3. <coughs> and you should be able to, and these numbers are nice enough that you could plot these guys and you could see how, you know, 1, negative 3 is going to be that midway point. You guys agree with that? <coughs>